to my channel. If you are new to my channel and you love all things organized, please take a moment and click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my organizing tips that I share here. Okay, in this video, I want to talk about our pantries. Now, recently during quarantine, I uploaded a tip about how to organize our pantries. And when I posted it on my Instagram page, I had one of my followers mention that they had just recently downsized and that they didn't have a pantry in their new home. I too was once in a home that did not have a pantry. So I want to do this video on how to organize your kitchen when you don't have a pantry to store your food in. Now I can really sympathize with anyone who does not have a full pantry. And this one's a really tiny one. I spent 16 years of my life in a home that was built in the 1950s. And to say that it had no storage is an understatement. <laughs> Take a look at what I had for my kitchen. So if you look at the left side of the picture, we had our refrigerator and our oven, and they were standalones on that wall. We couldn't add cabinets to that wall because of all the piping behind there. Then if you look just to the right of our oven, the cabinets on the top, that was actually the only spot I had to put all of our food that didn't go in the refrigerator. Down below that, in the lower cabinets, there was four little drawers. The top two drawers were things like spatulas and dish towels and things like that. And the bottom two housed our foils, our baggies, and other things like that. Then in the cabinets above the sink, I had a little bit of space. I had the left side of that for all of our spices and oils and baking needs and everything like that. Below the sink was all of our cleaning supplies for the house. This was a 1950s house. I can't state that enough. It was no storage whatsoever. We didn't have storage closets anywhere else in the house. So all of my household cleaning supplies ended up underneath that sink. Then the cabinet that is to the right of the sink on the top, that was where I had all of our dishes, our bowls, our cups, everything that we would eat off of went into that one little cabinet. And then there was a little cabinet off to the right of that one that I housed all of our guest wear, I like to call it, the, the items you bring out when you have company, you know, that sort of thing. Now, you can see to the right of the sink on the bottom, we had a dishwasher. Now, before we moved in, there was no dishwasher. So, and with three children, there was no way I was gonna go without a dishwasher. So I had to sacrifice one large cabinet area. So we were really restricted with what we could fit in there. And then as you wrap around that counter, we had another set of four drawers, which was our utility drawer for our scissors and pens and stuff like that. And then the three drawers below it were reserved for the kids for their school supplies and any crafts and extra paper, construction paper, that sort of thing. So like I said, the only places that I could store any food without a pantry was that cabinet above the microwave in the corner and then that tiny little side above the sink. Okay, so the question of the day is, what do you do when you don't have a lot of places to store your food? The best advice I can give is to relocate other things that are normally in your cabinets. Your cabinets now need to become your food storage. And I always say default to the higher cabinets for food storage just because it avoids any little critters getting into food if you store them in the lower cabinets. So then what do you do with all your household items that are in those cabinets? Well, one of the things I suggest is to utilize, if you can, space above your refrigerator, okay? Now, when I was in that situation, in that small house, I put things like my crock pot uh, up on top of my refrigerator, I would put my blender, a Cuisinart, anything, the bigger appliances, toasters, I would store up above here. That freed up other cabinet space around my kitchen. Another thing you can do to open up cabinet and drawer space is to utilize your walls. Try hanging things like spatulas, oven mitts, towels, hang them either on the walls or on the sides of cabinets and that will help free up drawers for maybe storing spices in or other food items that you need to store. 
You can also free up cabinet space by simply hanging a curtain rod underneath your cabinets, then put little S-hooks on them and hang your coffee mugs. That'll help you free up maybe half a shelf in your cabinet above. Or you can hang spice racks on the wall, again, freeing up cabinet and drawer space. If you don't have any wall space to hang a spice rack, you can always take a little basket like this. They sell them at the Dollar Tree, they sell them at Walmart. You can find these anywhere. Now I did a video testing out a hack, you'll see it online a lot, where they actually attached magnets to these little bins and then they stuck them to the, the refrigerator. If you look at my video, go check it out, I'll leave the iCard up there. It really doesn't work all that well. So what you can do with this is you can use command hooks to actually hook in, and I think I show it in that video where you can hook these onto your refrigerator, and it'll just provide you some extra storage if you wanna put a few spices there instead of in your cabinets. Again, opening up space for other food items that you need to store. Now another option you could do is to use a nearby closet. Oftentimes, homes will have a coat closet or some kind of storage closet near the kitchen or right off of the kitchen. Those become excellent places to store things like the crock pot, the blenders, the Cuisinart's, the toasters and things like that. Then that frees up above the refrigerator for maybe storing food items. Now if you're going to store food items above your refrigerator, you can store them in bins something like this. I got this one at the container store. Okay, it's got a nice little handle, it's got a little lower thing, you can put a label on it or whatever. You can store bags of chips in here, snack bags, popcorn things. This I got at the dollar store. Again, you just store your food items up above on your refrigerator up there. And bins like these that you can find at the container store, I absolutely love these. These are awesome for storage. And wouldn't you know, cans fit perfectly. You can line this up with a bunch of cans, all your canned goods, right up there. Okay, easy peasy. Another option you can use if you don't have a pantry is maybe repurposing another type of item, like a bookshelf, a small bookshelf, or a media rack. A lot of times, kitchens that don't have pantries, they have little corners or little nooks that you can slide a little book case in or a media shelf and it fits beautifully because they are only like six or eight inches deep as opposed to a deeper cabinet. So they fit snugly in there and you can use little bins like this again to store different products. Now if you have young children and you're concerned about food products being in an area where it might not be good for them to just go and grab if they're really young, you can use that bookshelf or media shelf for maybe storing their little plastic plates and their little sippy cups or their little travel bottles that kids often use in the car. You can put napkins in there. You can put other items that you need in your kitchen that would be safe around young children. The main thing I want you to remember is to set it up to match what's going on in your life. Some people will have young children or grandchildren that are around that you need to be aware of what you're setting down low at their level, but other people may not have children around so they don't have to worry about it set up a system that works best for you. Again, utilizing the top of your refrigerator, if you are five feet tall, maybe if there's an area to put a little step stool near the refrigerator, oftentimes we have little spaces, you can slide a little step stool in there to make it a little easier. Again, set it up so it works easily for you. But if you do decide to use maybe a bookcase or a media shelf, you might want to think if you have little kids to secure it to the wall just to be safe. Another thing you can do is invest in some really cute decorative baskets. Now, like I said, I got this at the dollar store and I showed you the one I got at the container store, but you can get a more decorative wicker type basket. These baskets you can store items in on your counter and it just looks like a decorative piece or you can store it in the middle of your kitchen table. And again, it frees up things that are in the cabinets so that you can store food in those cabinets. Another thing you can do if you want to maximize your space in the cabinets and kind of shrink things down 
is to use these little risers. This helps you double your vertical space. So let's say you can't hook a bar underneath for your coffee mugs like I mentioned before. You can put this in your cabinet and now you can put a layer of coffee mugs here, a layer of coffee mugs here and you've doubled your space and now you can use this side of the cabinet for whatever food purposes you need. Another tip I want to offer you to maximize the space in your kitchen when you don't have a pantry is to take the food products out of the packages when you bring them home. Companies are notorious for packaging their products in boxes that are way too big. So when you bring it home, take it out of the packaging and maybe invest in some storage products that are like this. I always say get clear because then you can see your inventory at all times. But the nice thing about this is you can fill it clean up to the top. They come in countless different sizes and shapes so you can fit it, almost customize it to your cabinet's dimensions. And I love these because they stack beautifully on top of one another. Another item you can use is a three drawer bin from Sterilite. It fits in any little corner, any little nook of your kitchen and it provides you three nice sized drawers to store extra food products in. One last area you can use for added storage space is the space above your cabinets. Okay, if your cabinets do not go all the way up to the ceiling, you can always use those decorative baskets like I suggested and pop all the out of season things or the things that you use once a year that you don't have to worry about uh, going up and getting constantly. Store those up above the cabinets. Again, freeing up the cabinets that are within reach. So those are just a few ways that I would suggest to maximize your storage space if you do not have a pantry. If you have any other storage ideas, I'd love to hear about them. Please leave any other ideas that we can share in the comments below. And don't forget to click the subscribe button as well and ring the bell so you know every time I'm uploading tips like this. I hope you enjoyed this video and found my tips helpful. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button below and let me know. And if you even want more tips and organizing ideas, please go check out my socials. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all of them. The links are found below. I'll catch you next time.